so I had to get back up on here y'all already know and that's another thing I want y'all to start noticing just small things like that I got cut off by four or five times then, then the last time when I said they can't stop it yeah you heard me let me tell you something it, it, it hasn't registered it, it doesn't register that this don't happen just happen like that. I'm trying to get y'all to see the enemy cannot stand a true man or woman of God that has no hold on that has the spirit of God and that's not trying to be arrogant that is knowing who you are in God and that's what he's trying to take away from us he'll use people he'll use places he'll use things that happen to you and I'm, I'm gonna be transparent this morning because like I said I'm on one you see when that stuff happened to me I'm not gonna lie to you for one moment it made me feel like I wasn't who I was and God said you are still my child you you are still prophet Deanna Dixon. You are still warrior. You are still powerful. You are still anointed. What? Hallelujah. You better get a clue. You better get a clue because let me tell you what he does. He uses things and people to try to project to us that we are not who we are because if he's still your vision, he's still your identity. And if he's still your identity, he's still what God has placed in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. That power is not of our own. That's come from Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Look what he did on this earth. 90% of Jesus' ministry was casting out demons, healing, and deliverance. Only 10% preaching. You didn't hear what I just said. Because some of y'all preachers, y'all preach too much. You heard me, you heard me, you heard me on one. You need to start laying hands, casting out something. Yeah, I said it. Because if the spirit is in the spirit, is of the spirit, then all it is is just you preaching to a spirit. And I don't, I've never known D Jesus to preach to no um, spirit. He cast them out, he ain't preached to them. Mm, I'm on one. The heart of God is souls. The heart of God is souls. The heart of God is souls. We got to be about souls. Let me tell you something. <laughs> they can't, manipulation is witchcraft, okay? Manipulation is witchcraft. When people can't control you, they don't like you. I just said something. The true prophets are not liked. Never have been, never will. Read your scripture. Because oh, we can't control their mouth. Sir, ma'am, I can't even control my mouth. Because with his spirit, oh, it's a wrap. He going to say what he said to say. You going to do what he said to do. <laughs> Even if you're not a prophet, truth be told. When you are filled with the Holy Ghost, there is nothing you can do but succumb. Hallelujah. Hear what I say? And that's what he doesn't want in this hour. The enemy doesn't want you filled. Because when you get filled, you get healed. And when you get healed, you get delivered. You didn't hear what I just said. Somebody write that all in the comments. It's about the spirit of God in this hour like never before. It is not about us. It is not about just money, fame, and everything else. Like I said, I'm, I told you I was coming back up here. Because I knew I was going to get cut off. Hallelujah. God, but, but, but it's not over with. I see it. Revival is coming like never before. God is positioning. That's why it's been so much exposure. Because this anointing that's coming up on the body of Christ, you're going to have to be pure. You're going to have to be pure. This anointing that's coming on the body of Christ, you're going to have to be pure. You can't be tainted because it'll backlash you. And that's what's happening. People are getting backlash in the spirit and in the natural. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Woo. I know. I know. I know. I know. Because it, it almost went off again. But I'm finished now. So it really don't even matter. It, it, it don't. I, I, want, hey, I want to say. But let me tell you something. That's another thing too. The enemy is going to do what the enemy is going to do. Hold on. The enemy is going to use who the enemy uses. I'm going to say something to you. You must be powerful, more powerful than your enemy, which you already are because guess what? You are made in the image of Christ. They're supposed to do what they do. Oh, come on. They're supposed to do what they do. But you know what we're supposed to do? Have that tenacity. That's all you got. That's all you can do. Because you cannot do anything. Just like Jesus. I'm reminded of Jesus when he said, you could only do this. I, I'm letting you arrest me. I'm letting you kill me. Because if I wanted 12 legions of angels would come and Y'all got to get that in your mind, in your spirit, in your soul. They can't do that anything that God doesn't allow. Because God wants to know how much strength do you have. The Bible says that if you think in, this, in, in adversity, excuse me, thy strength is small. I've never known a warrior God to have small strength. 
somebody right there in the car. I've never known it, not, not in my lifetime, and not even before when I read that Bible. Joshua. <laughs> That's where we at. We Joshua generation. Joshua was so bad, they had an angel just standing by the camp. Joshua was so bad, Joshua went up to him. Who, what side you on? <laughs> you didn't, what side? Who you on? Who are you for? Joshua did not play. And that's where we are in this in, the, in this moment. Hold on. I ain't say be ugly. I didn't say be arrogant. I didn't say be disrespectful. I didn't say be prideful. You are a warrior. Act like it, walk like it, talk like it, be like it in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Because that's where we at. The enemy is using fear, money, honey, and funny to captivate people so you can move out of your position in God. And he'll dangle that carrot. Y'all know how many dangling carrots I've had in, in my, and I can't say I didn't look at them because when it's something that you think you want, sometimes you, 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 you look. Sometimes you even go after it. And God will shut it down. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm preaching this morning. God said, you, 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 you sure that's what you want? Because what I'm learning is what you think you want, sometimes you don't want. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Well, we're almost to our destination. I am going walking. I'm on one. I'm telling you, I love it when God, you know, it be intense. I ain't going to lie because if, if, you, if you hear the voice of God or you know the power of God, the presence of God, God don't play. And, and it's not like, how can I say, it, it's a, it's a, put it this way. The Bible says it's a dangerous thing to fall in the hands of the living God. And I'm not trying to project God to be this big, bad God. But he's a God of love. But what they don't preach is he's a God of wrath. And I don't know what Bible people are reading. Because God take care of his own. And God's so cool with it. God will let you do what you do. God will sit back. Just like he did with Pharaoh. I'm going to let that fool do what he do. Because I'm going to destroy him. So when the enemy think he is doing what he doing. And he doing, be doing a lot of stuff. Don't get discouraged but be encouraged. And I like to say sooner or later, come on, somebody write that in the comments. Sooner or later, you're going down. <laughs> I'm telling you what God said. Sooner or later, you're going down. God said, stand still and watch the salvation of the Lord. What do you think he mean by that? <laughs> I'm going to save you. Just like I did before. I'm going to redeem you. Just like I did before. I'm going to anoint you. Just like I did before. I'm going to bless you. Just like I did before. All right, we to our destination. Got to get my exercise on because I'm, I'm, I'm on one. And what I mean by that is going to that next level. Can't be stopped. Can't even stop myself. I'm letting God do it. God do it. God do it. God do it for your glory. It's just my story, but it's for your glory. So God bless you. God keep you. Y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. <clears throat> Think it's a game? <laughs>